Okay, so, second upload of the day, I oh, know, crazy, but earlier, uh, Capcom announced their kind of presentation lineup for their E3 showcase on the 14th. That is at half past 10 at night in the UK on Monday. And it stated that there was obviously Monster Hunter news, there was Monster Hunter Stories news, a different game I don't recall the name of, and then it said Resident Evil Village news. And the only thing I can think of is either they're talking about the game, as it is now, or, at the most likely, is uh, DLC is on the way. And there is a lot of different directions I could go with DLC for this game. Personally, I can think of a lot off the top of my head of what they could do for this game. Before anyone gets super excited about Village DLC, keep in mind that there is a game that comes with Village called Resident Evil Reverse, which are delayed until the summer. They could just be announcing that with a release date because you buy Village, you get that. So technically, does count as Village news because it is kind of something to do with Village because you have to buy Village to get it. But if they mean Village news for the game, it's most likely DLC. So what we're going to do is talk about some ideas I have for what the DLC could be and just kind of predict. <laughs> I guess not predict, but just kind of brainstorm some ideas out into a video. And hopefully discuss it with you guys afterwards. So, without any further ado, we'll get started. Okay, so first up, um, this is probably the most kind of wanted by people who have played Village, is if you bought the Deluxe Edition, you get a little art book called The Tragedy of Ethan Winters. And it's basically a whole compilation of concept art from 7 and 8 that has a little bit of a flavour text with it that kind of says what it is and how the development process changed and stuff like that. And there's one on there specifically that shows... A robed figure in a mask with a crossbow who would save Ethan right at the beginning of the game when he's captured by the Lords initially, when they're on trial with him basically. Um, that person would have come and saved Ethan instead of him running through like the death trap maze like he does. Um, and that person was going to be Ada, but that was cut from the game due to conflicting situations, which I don't really know what that could be. Um, so there's potential that there's DLC they planned for the game with her, but because of this conflict situations, maybe they quit from the main game to bring it back into the game as DLC later on. So that would be really cool. I think it'd be really cool to see another old character from the series come back. Because obviously right now it's just Chris, which I'm fine with. Like Chris is a great character, but now we know that Seven and Eight are kind of they, they are canon games. Like they do take place in the universe that the other games have happened in because they're all referenced um, more specifically. In 7, you know, there's references to Raccoon City everywhere, so it's definitely in-universe and that stuff all still happens, so those characters do exist, which uh, which is good to know. So Ada, Wa Ada Wong would be a just a great character to bring into Village, I think. Now we're going to move into my personal ideas of what they could do. Um, again, there's all personal ideas. I don't know if anyone else has said this already, but this is for me what I think would be really cool for the DLC. And the first one is following Chris throughout what he does in the course of the main game. Obviously you come across Chris a couple of times in the game uh, throughout while playing as Ethan, especially at the uh, the reservoir area with Moreau. But he's there the whole time as well. Obviously if you follow the story, he's there looking for Miranda as well. And his team's there. And you don't really see him much. But he turns up at the bottom of the factory. He is at the reservoir with Moreau. And obviously you play has him at the end of the game with his whole team. I think that would be really cool to kind of see where he was throughout the entire length of the game. Kind of like what they did with Ada Wong in Resident Evil 4. You played her like DLC where she kind of... You played events alongside what happened with Leon. And then obviously what she did ended up affecting Leon in the main game. And then you get to kind of see it from her side. I think it would be really cool to see things from Chris's side as well. Maybe you see Ethan like running around in the distance being... Just doing what he's doing throughout the game. I think that would be really cool. And then obviously more attention to his squad as well because they're obviously there. Apparently, the Chris segment in the game was supposed to be set, split up into different pieces where you would play as each individual member of his team, but instead, um, you just play as Chris. So it'd be really cool to kind of see that happen, where you play as each different member and use their respective gear. I think one of them's a sniper, one of them's got an LMG, and that'd be really, really cool to see, just to see what they do, rather than just seeing Chris. Another idea I have going around my head is, remember what they did with Seven, when they had like the band footages, where it was like, Things that took place in the events of the game, but it was before Ethan turned up. They could do that with Village very easily. Obviously it wouldn't be called the band footage, but it could be called like 
Tales from the Village or something like that, you know, where you kind of see what happens to characters you meet along the way before Ethan turned up. But obviously, early on in the game, you meet the people from Louisa's house. There's a few people in there, a lot of different people in there, but you could see what happened to them. Um, obviously, the father of that girl, who I can't remember the name of at the beginning, who falls into the house on fire, uh, he, he's bitten and he turns into a lichen. And it'd be cool to see what happened and how it happened. Um, another idea you could do with that is you could kind of pay more attention to the lords. This is not probably that likely, but you could potentially play as one of the lords. I don't know, you could be playing as Heisenberg or even Dimitrescu if you wanted to. Um, and just kind of see what happened to them when they were tested on and infected by Miranda. Because obviously the, the mold and the mutant mice affected them all in different ways. And it took some time for them to get to how they were. So to see that play out would be pretty cool. They'd have to be kind of specific with them. Because I think the most interesting one to kind of see how he ended up how he was was Moreau. Because obviously if you read the files and at the end of the game it says Moreau didn't take... Oh no, the, the virus didn't take to Moreau as well as the others. And it kind of turned him into that like fish monster he is. So I think it'd be interesting to add like a horror DLC where you see him go through all these changes and turn into what he is eventually. I think it'd be really cool to see. Uh, there's a lot of dark backstory of Moreau as well, so uh, it'd be interesting to see like any of the Lords really like their backstory and how they ended up how they were. I think that'd be really, really fun. For sure. Next up, this could be this could be an interesting one, but obviously at the end of the game, in the, the big lore room where you find Miranda's lab, there's talk of Spencer being at the village and meeting Miranda and kind of like seeing her ways of doing things versus his ways of doing things and this could be the dumbest idea of all time but it'd be cool if you could play as him and just see what it was all like back then because obviously Miranda's been around for a long time and she's kind of insane if you didn't notice from the main game but um I don't know I think it'd be really cool to kind of maybe play as him or play as her and see what happened and to inspire the events of the game to see what you know how Miranda discovered the mutant I know obviously the, the lore explains it but to see it would be pretty cool, but uh, you never know. Also, in talks of near the end of the game, you also find out what happened to Mia, because obviously Mia, at the end of the game, turns out to be alive, and Miranda took her, and it would be cool to see what actually happened to her, and when she got took, you know, because obviously you don't know how long Mia wasn't Mia, but uh, that could be super cool, um, just to kind of see things from her side of things. Obviously we played as Mia before in 7, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be out of nowhere to play as Mia again. In, uh, in Resident Evil Village. But uh, in terms of bulky DLCs, I think that's kind of my ideas. I think, I think Chris, Ada, maybe some separate stories from other characters you meet, and then possibly me would be the best. Spencer one, I don't know, I'm kind of throwing that out there because it would be cool to see it and kind of get some of those original characters back in. But uh, you know, who knows, they could, they could do anything. And of course, the last two things I wanted to touch on is there could be some kind of new like bonus modes, uh, obviously in Seven, you have 21, which is like gambling game mode where you have to play a card game and if you lose, you die. And they could do, there was also Jack's 55th birthday, which was like a, <laughs> this called stupid little fun mini game that was, that was pretty entertaining to do, to be honest. And there was a quad block unlocks to it. There was a lot of replayability tied to it. So they could do that. And then they could do more with the mercenaries mode. They could add more stages. They could add more characters, because obviously in the older games, you could play as, you know, every character from the game, but unless you only play as Ethan, you could play as, you could play as Chris, or one of the Hound team, or Mia, or Heisenberg, that would be really cool, playing as Heisenberg and using his powers, that'd be fun. But, uh, you know, this is kind of, it's going to be like a small kind of wrap up of what I think would be cool for the game. Um, obviously, again, take it all with a pinch of salt, because one, there isn't really any leaps in terms of DLC. Um... Another thing to keep in mind is, on Light 7, which launched with a season pass, this didn't. I mean, there's every potential that they just release big standalone DLCs and don't include a season pass, which is totally fine. But, uh, it is a bit of a thing that it didn't launch with a season pass on Light 7, but we'll see, you know. I think End of Zoe was separate to the season pass. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and then, again, keep in mind that Reverse is coming out in the summer. And it is tied to Village because you do have to buy Village to play that. So it could be that. So don't hold out for any massive DLC for Village until they say. Uh, there's always just a move in the video. Kind of going over what I think would be cool to see. 
and you know this is just the ideas in my head I have loads more I could get into but I'm just gonna throw the big ones out there I do think the Chris one will be the most likely I think that will probably be the best in my opinion just to see what he did throughout the uh, course of the game and then maybe some like stories from other solid characters you meet throughout the game like the villagers and stuff like that and that stuff would be really cool but let me know what you think let me know if you want to see more of the villagers or more of Chris's side or maybe even some of my other ideas because uh, maybe there's some liking to those but we'll see as always when it does come to Monday night and they do announce whatever they announce I'll be here uh, covering it as soon as it's finished uh, so if you want to see that then by all means subscribe and turn notifications so you know exactly what they said essentially the moment they said it but uh, yeah that's all for now enjoy the second upload of the day and I'll see you all in the next one